Finding such Elizabeth II coin with incorrect shape and missing lettering or date and tossing it aside or putting it aside as something useless. But in real, such coins are numismatic pinnacles, the error coins worth a lot more than their face value. Believe it or not, this 1981 Elizabeth II $2 from Hong Kong was sold for $1441 on June 27th, 2024 at Stax Powers Auction. This is an elusive error coin struck on 2.8 grams copper nickel planchet. Extremely lustrous and vibrant, this off planchet strike conveys only a small degree of intended design. The 1981 Hong Kong $2 error coin featuring Elizabeth II was mistakenly struck on a 2.8 gram copper nickel planchet instead of standard 8.4 grams planchet. The significant weight difference is highly unusual, making the coin a rare find. Graded MS62 by PCGS, this error coin displays a clear uncirculated condition with minor imperfections typical of the grade. Here is 1989 Elizabeth II proof gold crown from Isle of Man. Also not certified by any coin grading service, this bullion coin ended up selling for staggering $2,280 at Stax Powers auction. The 1989 Isle of Man gold crown features Elizabeth II on a verse and is a proof coin with denomination of 1 ounce, catalogued as FRB50 and Key M250B. This coin is part of a series known for its meticulous craftsmanship and striking design. The verse displays a detailed portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, her third portrait. Made from pure gold, this proof coin is particularly sought after by collectors for its rarity, pristine condition and historical significance it represents. Yet another intriguing error coin depicting late Queen Elizabeth II at her use. 1979 Elizabeth II dollar coin from Hong Kong, rare wrong planchet error. This coin was struck on 4.6 grams planchet, graded in mean state 64 by PCGS. The 1979 Hong Kong dollar featuring Queen Elizabeth II was erroneously struck on a 4.6 gram planchet instead of standard 7.1 grams, graded them at 64 by PCGS. This coin is in near gem uncirculated condition, showcasing a sharp strike with minimal imperfections. The weight anomaly makes this piece particularly intriguing to collectors of error coins. Such errors are rare and highly valued for their uniqueness and the insights they provide into the minting process. Minting processes. This specific error coin adds significant historical and numismatic interest due to its deviation from standard specifications. Here is a 1973 Elizabeth II dollar coin from Canada. This attractively toned specimen was graded as specimen 66 by NGC with star designation. It is notable specimen coin. This coin is of exceptional quality, featuring a near-perfect strike with outstanding detail and superior finish. The specimen designation indicates it was specially produced with extra care, typical for collectors. The star designation signifies exceptional eye appeal, further enhancing its desirability. These coins' high grade and special designation make it a prized addition to any collection representing both craftsmanship of Ottawa Mint and the enduring legacy of Queen Elizabeth II. This attractively toned gem was recently sold for $384 at Stax Powers Auction. Another bullion coin worth big money, 1982 Year of Dog $1000 from Lunar Sirius. The 1982 $1000 coin his remarkable piece featuring Queen Elizabeth II, graded MS69 by PCGS. This coin is nearly perfect with only minor imperfections visible under magnification, catalogued as FR8 and KM50. It contains 0.4708 ounces of actual gold. The obverse typically features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II while the reverse displays design honoring the Year of Dog, a part of Chinese zodiac. This high-grade coin is highly sought after by collectors for its beauty, rarity, and gold content. It was sold for $1,200. This is 1975 Elizabeth II, $1,000 from Hong Kong, graded in mint state 65 by NGC. Actual gold weight is 0 0.4708 O's.
it showcases a finely detailed portrait of Queen Elizabeth II and of verse. The reverse typically features a design emblematic of Hong Kong's heritage. The MS65 grade indicates a well-struck coin with strong luster and minimal marks, making it highly desirable to collectors for both its gold content and its condition. This coin represents an important part of Hong Kong's monetary history during the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. This rare specimen was sold for $1,080. Here is Australian 1996 Elizabeth II Gold Year of Red $100 from Lunar Series, graded in Mint State 70 by NGC. The Australian 1996 Elizabeth II Gold Year of Red $100 coin is part of Lunar Series known for its exquisite craftsmanship and limited mintage. Graded in Mint State 70 by NGC, it represents the highest quality preservation of no post-production imperfections visible under strong magnification. This coin commemorates the year of red in the Chinese zodiac, showcasing a design that mirrors traditional symbolism with modern minting techniques. Its perfect grading enhances its numismatic value, making it highly sought after by collectors worldwide for its rarity, beauty, and symbolic significance. This highly coveted coin was recently sold for $2,640 at heritage auctions. And this is 2006 Elizabeth II Gold Proof Bermuda Sea Venture, $30. Graded as gem proof by NGC, this coin holds significance in numismatics depicting the historical events of the Sea Venture shipwreck. Graded as gem proof by NGC, it signifies flawless surfaces and stunning details typical of proof coins. This limited mintage coin combines historical narrative with exquisite craftsmanship, appealing to collectors for its rarity and an aesthetic appeal. The NGC gem proof grade ensures its pristine condition and adds to its desirability among collectors of rare and commemorative coins. It was sold for $2,520. In the world of numismatic rare coins like these exemplify the artistry, history and craftsmanship that captivate collectors globally. Whether it's intricate designs of lunar series coins and or the historical narratives depicted in Bermuda's commemorative issues, each piece tells a unique story. If you enjoyed exploring these treasures with us, don't forget to like the video, share it with fellow enthusiasts, and leave comments sharing your favorite coin or your own numismatic experiences. For more fascinating insights into the world of coins, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest discoveries and discussions. God's willing, see you in the next episode.